Multiplication is repeated addition. Starting with one will go up to ten. Sing it with us till you can do it by yourself. Come on, let's go. One times table. One times one is one. One times two is two. One times three is three. One times four is four. One times five is five. One times six is six. One times seven is seven. One times eight is eight. One times nine is nine. One times ten is ten. One times table. Two times table. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Two times five is ten. Two times six is twelve. Two times seven is fourteen. Two times eight is sixteen. Two times nine is eighteen. Two times ten is twenty. Two times table. Hi, my dear pupils. I'm so happy to see you today. I'm Teacher Marian, your Grade Four Math Believe Buddy. Wear your beautiful smile and remember, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. You have learned from the previous lesson how to multiply numbers up to three digits by up to two-digit numbers without or with regrouping. Remember to always put yourself in each problem so that you can easily solve it. Enjoy and have fun solving! In today's episode, you will learn about solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Get ready with your pen and paper because it's drill time! In 5 seconds, I want you to multiply the numbers mentally. Ready? Aba, siyempre po! Help us multiply the numbers so we can get the trophy! Number 1. 13 times 8 is equal to... 104 correct number 2 16 times 11 is equal to the answer is 176 Number 3. 18 times 9 is equal to... One hundred sixty-two is the answer. Great job! Number 4. 14 times 11 is equal to 1. The answer is 154. Last number. 16 times 12 is equal to 1. The correct answer is 192. Yay! We made it! Thank you for helping us! 
Mas Galing! I am happy that together with Ana and Tonio, you were able to understand our previous lesson. Hello again, Mas Galing buddies! Happy Foundation Day! I know that you are all excited for the different rides and food stalls that we have. Yes, Teacher Marian! I want to ride the Ferris wheel and octopus. I would also like to buy the London juice. That's great, Anna and Tonio. In every ride and food stall, you need a golden ticket. And for you to earn those golden tickets, you need to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers, including money, using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Hmm, teacher, I think we need your help and our masterly bodies to get those golden tickets. Let us now start our Mazdali venture today. Anna receives from her mother the amount of 30 pesos as her daily allowance in school. She saves 5 pesos for future expenses. How much does she save in a month if there are 21 school days? This is an example of a routine problem. Routine problems are problems that have solutions which can be immediately identified. Let us try to solve this mathly problem. To analyze and solve the problem, we can use this magic step. Magic step number one. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked in the problem. Anna's savings in a month if there are 21 school days. Find the necessary information. The given facts, 5 pesos, daily savings, 21, school days in a month. Take note that 30 pesos is not a necessary given fact because the focus is savings of Anna, not monthly allowance. Magic step number two. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. Multiplication is the operation that we will use in order to answer the problem. Write the number sentence. 21 times 5 is equal to... Magic step number 3. Solve. Solve using the operation. 21 times 5 is equal to... 5 times 1 is 5. 5 ones times 2 tenths is 100. Then let us add the partial products. The answer is 105. Magic step number 4. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. Anna saves 105 pesos in a month. This is how to solve routine problems. How about solving non-routine problems? In a school canteen, four pupils can sit in a square table. How many students can sit in five square tables placed end-to-end? -end? Solving non-routine problems develops your reasoning power. You can use the following strategies in solving non-routine problems. Listing, making a table, guess and check, drawing or diagram, and using patterns. You can solve by drawing a picture. According to the Math Dali problem, four students can sit in a square table. But since the tables are placed next to each other, 
not all sides are occupied by the pupils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve students can sit in five square tables placed end to end. What do you think is the best arrangement of the square tables such that more students may be seated and the square tables are still connected to each other? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Therefore, the best arrangement of the square tables is corner to corner, wherein four pupils can still sit. Math terrific! Now that you know how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers, including money, using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools, we can now help Anna and Tonyo to have the three golden tickets for the rides and food stalls. Mathly, mathly, mathly! Activity time! Pens up, papers up, let me see your happy face. Pens up, papers up, let me see that amazing face. Number 1. Ferris wheel golden ticket. A group of workers can make 830 pieces of shawmai an hour. How many pieces of shawmai can they make in 16 hours? We need to know the number of shawmai the group of workers can make in 16 hours. So we need to multiply 830 by 16. The number sentence is 830 times 16 is equal to Multiply 830 by the ones digit in the multiplier. Multiply the ones. 6 times 0 is equal to 0. 6 ones times 3 tenths is 180. Write 8 in the tenths place. 0 on the 1's place and regroup 1 to 100's place. 6 1's times 800 is 4,800. Plus the regroup to 100 is equal to 4,900. Multiply 830 by the 10's digit in the multiplier. Multiply 1 tenths by 0 1's is 0. Write 0 in the 10's place. 1 tenths times 3 tenths is 300. We will write 3 in the hundreds place. Next, 1 tenths times 8 hundreds is 8,000. Write 8 in the thousands place. Then, we can now add the partial products. 4,980 plus 8,300. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 3 is 12. 2 carry 1. 4 plus 8 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. The final answer is 13,280. The workers will make 13,280 pieces of shawmai in 16 hours. You got it right? Math terrific! Number 2 Octopus Golden Ticket A square tile costs 45 pesos each. Find the cost to form a word using the tiles. Mathly bodies, what should we do? Yes! We need to count all the tiles and multiply it to 45. 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The number sentence is 45 times 10. Let us now multiply by doing the short method. Let us multiply the multiplicand to the non-zero digit in the multiplier. 45 times 1 is 45. Then we just add the number of zero in the multiplier, which is 1, 0. So the answer is 450. The tiled word costs 450 pesos. Math amazing! Number 3. The food stall golden ticket. A raffle ticket costs 20 pesos. How much is the cost of 680 raffle tickets? We need to find the amount of 680 raffle tickets. So we need to multiply 680 by 20. The number sentence is 680 times 20 is equal to... Let us now multiply by doing the short method. Let us multiply the multiplicand to the non-zero digit in the multiplier. 68 times 2 is 136. Then we just add the number of zeros in the multiplier and multiplicand to the product. There are two zeros. The amount of the 680 tickets which cost 20 pesos each is 13,600. Thank you, Natalie Paris. With the golden ticket, we can now enjoy the rides. Happy Foundation Day! Keep this in mind. The best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Remember, basta kasama si Teacher Marian, kaya yan! That's it for today, Mathly Buddies. See you on our next math exciting and math amazing activities.